Hello, everybody, and welcome to race number seven of season seven in an SRA Walmart Cup series. I'm Levi McIntyre, aka Thrash Maniac 99, the voice of NNSCRA Walmart Cup Series, here to welcome you to the NRA 500 here at Texas Motor Speedway, where we are set to go 51 laps of racing here at this really, really fast mile and a half track here in the heart of Texas and Dallas Fort Worth area. And this is going to be exciting. But before we get started, we're going to take a look at the point standings. After last week at Thornton, Charles Jackson, who won Thornton last week and also won at California, <coughs> excuse me, earlier this season, he's the points leader by four points over Dylan Thoreau. Third is Dylan Poteet, fourth PJ Williams, fifth Stephen Pollard, the third. Six is Danny Wells. Seventh is Zachary Fitzwater, who fell from the points lead all the way down to seventh. Chris Michaels, eighth. Ninth, Preston Plord. Tenth, David Rivera. Rest of the top 20 is Cody Lamas, Jesse Setti, Benjamin Miles, Charles Sanford, uh, Seth Cole, Kyle Corbett, James Silverfox, Michael Norman, Angel Navarro, and Jessica Villanueva. So... That is how the top 20 in the standings look coming into this race. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get the command to fire engines as you see your starting lineup on the side. But before we get to the command real quick, the top 10 is going to be Austin LaPlante on the pole. Second, Trent Dunham. Third, Rue McIntyre. Fourth, Matt McIntyre. Fifth, David Rivera. Sixth, Ian Dutta. Seventh, PJ Williams. 8th, Kyle Matthews, 9th, Jessica Villanueva, and 10th, Jeffrey Rose. Now let's get the command to fire engines. Drivers, start your engines! <clears throat> you will now see on your screen, or actually, no, never mind that. Since I'm not doing that no more, since I'm just presenting the lineups whenever we get started. But Austin the Plant who is on the pole for this race. He comes into this race 31st in the standings. He has not really gotten off to a very good start to the season, but all that luck can turn around this week. It's already somewhat turned around as he's on the pole for this race, but he would love to get a good finish. He's had only one top 10 so far here in the early goings of this season. If I can recall, I think it was at... California or Vegas, if I can remember. And Trent Dunham, who's in second, he's been starting to kind of pick pick up the pace a little bit. Last week he finished second at Thornton. He moved up from 35th to 24th in the standings. He would love to get another good finish, perhaps a win. Pace cars in pit road, which means it's time to boogity boogity boogity. Let go, Texas. Racing, boys and girls. LaPlante gets off to a pretty good start. Trent Dunham didn't get going. So Trent's going to fall back a few spots. And that's going to help put Rue McIntyre into second. David Rivera coming underneath Dunham for third. Looked like Dutta, Williams, McIntyre, and Villanueva thought about going four wide. Thankfully, they didn't. It's just three wide right now. Settled out to two wide. But three wide almost back here, and it is three wide. With Matt McIntyre, Kyle Matthews, and Jessica Villanueva up here. And look at all this crazy battling already starting off here to, be, to start the race up. David Rivera moving into the uh, third spot, but Ian Dutta trying to get up there to him. But Austin LaPlante still leads the way here at Texas. Let's actually see where our points leader Charles Jackson is currently at. 
Oh man, he is in a hornet's nest in the back of the pack. Mid-pack or so, about 23rd last time scored, now 28th. So yeah, Charles Jackson not off to a very good start here in this race. But back up at the front, still LaPlante, but now battle for second. Rue McIntyre has it, David Rivera wants it. David Rivera's been a man on a mission this season. After the horrible season he had in season six where he ended up missing a lot of races because of the knockout qualifying rule with him falling out of the top 35 in the owner standings last season. He's back at it full time this season and he comes in 10th in the standings after he had a very good run last week at Thornton. But now he wants to try to get a victory for himself. And Rivera's closing in pretty quick on Austin LaPlante. And now here he comes low. This is the battle for the lead. LaPlante has it. Rivera wants it. But LaPlante's going to still lead that lap. And now Ian Dutta's entered the picture. It's going to be now three wide for the top spot. And Dutta, I think, is going to get the advantage here. As it's still three wide for that spot. But I think, yeah, like I said, Dutta's going to have the edge because he's got that low line as there was almost contact between David Rivera and Austin LaPlante. And I think Rivera led that lap. No, Dutta did. Imagine if that was the finish. That would have been incredible. But Ian Dutta led that lap. He's the leader now. Austin LaPlante trying to make a comeback to get back up there. Trent Dunham now has found his way back up in the mix. Keep in mind, they're going to have to pit about two, maybe three times here in this race at some point. If I were to make a prediction as to when they're going to come into pit road, I would say in about 10, 11 laps from now. But we shall see what happens. But Austin LaPlante has taken back the lead after losing it for a brief moment. Battle for second, Ian Dutt is coming in, or he was second, now it's Trent Dunham, and now Kyle Matthews is in it, and actually the Hinder cars are starting to get up to LaPlante, you got Kyle Matthews up here, and so is PJ Williams, let's see where the other Hinder car, Chris Washer, is running, uh, he's around mid-pack right now. So three out of the four Hinder cars are in the top five with LaPlante leading, Matthews and now falling back to fourth, and Williams in fifth. Let's actually take a look and see how uh, the field looks right now since we've been clean and green this whole time. Austin LaPlante is the leader, second is Trent Dunham, third is Ian Dutta, fourth is Kyle Matthews, 5th P.J. Williams, 6th is Matt McIntyre, 7th Zachary Fitzwater, 8th Michael Norman, Ninth David Rivera make that Tanner Sullivan now, the highest of the rookies at the moment, then 10th David Rivera. 11th is Rue McIntyre, 12th Joshua Collard, 13th Jessica Villanueva, 14th is Stephen Pollard III, 15th Jeffrey Rose, 16th, Cody Lamas, 17th, Preston Plourd, 18th, Alex Hawkins, 19th, Charles Jackson, 20th, is Jesse Setti, 21st, Sean Galligan, 22nd, Kyle Corbett, 23rd, Dylan Young, 24th, Jessica Shelton, 25th, Chris Washer, 26th, Dorian Facepuncher, 27th, Charles Sanford, 28th, Benjamin Miles, 29th, James McLeod, 30th, Peachy London. 31st, Chris Michaels, 32nd, Seth Cole, 33rd, Chase Oliver, 34th, Danny Wells, 35th, Dylan Thoreau, 36th, James Silverfox, 37th, Angel Navarro, 38th, Dougie Shears, 39th, Anthony McCreary, 40th, Joshua Balkan, 
41st, Bob Jones, and 42nd is Dylan Poteet. Battle for the lead, Trent Dunham's coming underneath LaPlante. And this is Trent Dunham's home track. He is from around this area of Dallas-Fort Worth. He's now leading in his hometown crowd. <coughs> Trent Dunham in the Hellman's Mayonnaise car. I'm sure Charles Jackson's jealous that Trent Dunham has that sponsor. Same with Chris Washer. He has the Hellman's paint scheme, too. He's just not running it this week. Dunham with the lead, but Ian Dutt is starting to kind of pick, trying to get to the one car to get to the lead. And then back here for third, it's between the Hinder cars. But wait a minute, Kyle Matthews, he's coming into pit road. Same with Rue McIntyre. Nobody else in pit road, just Rue McIntyre. And Kyle Matthews came into pit road. I was almost correct as to when they were going to come and take their first pit stop. I think they may only have to pit twice, and now Ian Dudd is coming in, along with Williams, LaPlante, Matt McIntyre, Norman, Sullivan, Collard, Rivera, Plord, and many others. A lot of drivers came in, and quite a bunch stayed out still. As we go back up here to the leader, Trent Dunham, he's coming in the pit road now. Same with Zachary Fitzwater. Stephen Pollard III staying out, though, to lead some laps. Because remember, every point counts for these drivers. They want to get as much points as possible. So they can try to work their way into either getting back in the top ten or get to the points lead. And now here comes Stephen Pollard the third, as I think he was the only one to have stayed out in that final group. And there he is in the pit road. There's Ian Dutta, and I think it's going to be Dutta who's going to cycle around as the leader. But now Kyle Matthews coming in, and the caution's out. Caution's out for the first time. Whoa, Joshua Balkin! Careful, people! You don't want to run into so many things at once. And they start piling in. Austin LaPlante gets some damage as a result. One of the dominant cars, but I think he's going to be alright. As I'm trying to figure out if there's any cars damaged. I sure hope we did not just get... We've had this happen in the past here at Texas where there's an invisible caution where there's nothing that happens and it's gonna kind of make things a little complicated yeah I'm not seeing any cars damaged although cars are just still flying around all over the place what is Angel Navarro doing I guess they're trying to get cycled back around. Oh, and we just got a crash! Dylan Poteet is wrecked in a big cloud of dirt and smoke. Dylan Thoreau damaged, and Stephen Pollard III is damaged. And now James McLeod is damaged. Although we're unsure as to how the caution came out, because I didn't see anybody else wrecked as a result of any mishap now it's caused some confusion as to who the leader is because cars are still driving around at full speed to try to get back in line James Silverfox going into pit road same with Charles Sanford 
I'm not sure if it's because they didn't get all the fuel in their cars or what, but... Still, this is a bizarre turn of events here at Texas. And I'm almost thinking that potentially Seth Cole could be the leader right now. He's not being shown tail end. Although he may be tail end, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and try to see what brought the caution out. If we can't see what happened, then we'll just look at the replay of what happened with Dylan Poteen. Well, apparently we had an, if, an invisible caution, but this is what happened during the caution. Dylan Thoreau gets underneath Stephen Pollard III, collects him in the Dylan Poteet, and James McLeod, Ian Dutta actually got a piece of that. That was three of the Tweenix cars caught up in that mess. But let's see this one more time. Yeah, Thoreau tried to get underneath Pollard, he went in the apron, and then he comes up and just turns Stephen Pollard the third around, collects Dylan Poteet, who then goes head-on into the outside wall, and then James McLeod hard hit in the Pollard. Ian Dutta gets into it. So five cars wrecked under caution for a caution that shouldn't have even come out because nothing happened. There was no spins, no debris, no nothing. Nothing happened, and the caution was brought out. Then again, like I said, we've had this in the past where we've had an invisible caution. But anyways, let's go ahead and take you to the restart here at Texas. Well, after that uh, first caution of the race, we have four cars out of the race, and they are Ian Dutta, James McLeod, Stephen Pollard III, and Ian Dutta, or actually a Dylan Poteet, I meant. Two cars are lapped down, James Silverfox and Charles Sanford. Trent Dunham is the leader, even though he's like the seventh car in line, I think. Second is Zachary Fitzwater. Third is Alex Hawkins. Fourth, Cody Lamas. Fifth is P.J. Williams. Sixth, Drew McIntyre. Seventh, Chris Michaels. Eighth, Michael Norman. Ninth, Matt McIntyre. Tenth, Dougie Shears. Rest of the top 20, Tanner Sullivan, David Rivera, Joshua Collard, Preston Floyd, Jeffrey Rose, Kyle Corbett, Chris Washer, Austin LaPlante, Dave, or, uh, Danny Wells, Benjamin Miles. Rest of the top 30, Dorian Facepuncher, Joshua Balkan, uh, Anthony McCreary, Charles Jackson, Kyle Matthews, Dylan Thoreau, and Charles Jackson apparently has no hood. Jessica Villanueva, Jesse Setti, and Angel Navarro. Then Seth Cole, Sean Galligan, Chase Oliver, Jessica Sheldon, Pichu London, Bob Jones, Dylan Young on the tail end of the lead lap. Those guys on the tail end of the lead lap are going to have to hope for the caution to come out. Same with those lap machines who have gone ahead. They're going to hope, have to hope for a caution to come out so they can get back around to the back to the back of the pack. And now we got a new leader, Zachary Fitzwater. He's trying to do the same thing Charles Jackson has done this season, and that's win for the second time this season. He won back at Las Vegas. Now he's in the lead right now here at Texas. Yeah, that caution really, really screwed things up big time for the leaderboard because Seth Cole was the first car in line. I thought he was going to be... I thought he was going to be the leader, but apparently not. So yeah, that caution came out at a time when the pit stops were happening. So that screwed up the entire field. But anyway, Zachary Fitzwater still leading the way here at Texas. The closest one to him to go for the lead is Cody Lamas, but he's a couple car lengths back. But Chris Michaels is on his way. He's coming underneath for second, and there he goes. A couple cars have gone a lap down. Charles Sanford, Sean Galligan have officially gone a lap down. But Chris Michaels in the second. He's just now a car length behind the leader, Zachary Fitzwater. But I think we need to have another caution. So that way it can sort out this uh, confusion with the 
leaderboard as far as like also with people on track and stuff. But Chris Michaels, he's thinking about going underneath Zachary Fitzwater for the lead, but couldn't quite get there quick enough. But now he may be thinking about doing it now as here he comes down low for the top spot. Next time by will be 20 laps to go here at Texas. And now Chris Michaels to the point and teammate uh, Michael Norman in second. So we got Richard Childress 1-2 right now in the field. Chris Michaels has now got to put up with the uh, cars in front of him who are either a lap down or tail end of the lead lap. Four cars have gone a lap down, and they were Bob Jones, Charles Sanford, Seth Cole, Sean Galligan, as a result of all this messiness that just took place from a caution that that had nothing go wrong. There was no spins, no debris, no nothing, and NNSCRA decided to bring the caution out anyway. I honestly would think if it wasn't for that caution, I would think Ian Dutta would have gotten to be the leader, but then when he got caught up in that mess with Poteet and company, that event obviously cost him the race for himself. And Chris Michaels about got into James Silverfox, as Zachary Fitzwater had to back off the throttle big time, and he, got, and he forced uh, Michael Norman to get held up as a result, but Chris Michaels now only has just three cars left to get by. Chase Oliver, one of his good friends, Dylan Young, and Pichu London. And then once he can maybe get around those guys, I think he'll be pretty much clear of the rest of the guys and may be able to keep the lead. But remember, they've got to come in the pit road one more time here in the next few laps. So there you go with that. As Michaels is coming underneath Chase Oliver to put him a lap down. So now Michaels has only two cars ahead of him. And they're way up there. Dylan Young and Pichu London practically battling to stay on the tail end of the lead lap. In case a caution were to come out, those two would get cycled around to the back of the pack. Chris Michaels has a pretty big lead over his teammate, Michael Norman, nearly six-tenths of a second as a result of uh, all this chaos. But now we got many cars on pit road, although I'm curious as to how Charles Jackson ended up with front-end damage and ended up uh, having no hood, because I didn't see him get caught up in any wrecks. Maybe he just ran into the back of somebody. Maybe it could have been Dylan Thoreau he ran into the back of after that little mishap with Poteet and all them happened. But right now the leader is Zachary Fitzwater because he's staying out. But I think he's getting ready to come into pit road now, and I guess he is. Although Kyle Matthews staying out. Remember, these are the final pit stops for these drivers. Let's just hope we don't get another caution and screw up the whole field again. That's something we do not need. Pace car still pretty much in good shape. We're going to keep an eye on the pace car here to make sure no invisible caution happens again. We're going to keep an eye on them until everybody's finished 
with Pit Road. As more cars are in and finishing up, Zachary Fitzwater getting out now. <clears throat> we have 10 laps to go, and I think Kyle Matthews still is staying out. I think we got f a few cars still left on track. And they are Jesse Setti and Kyle Matthews. I think those are the only two left on in the field. I guess make that uh, Kyle Matthews the last one to, to pit. Let's check Kyle Matthews right now. He's in pit road now. Jesse Setti gets out of pit road. So far, no invisible caution again, which is a good thing. And Kyle Matthews completes his pit stop, and Charles Sanford is in too. And he was last scored third, or actually no, fifth now. As we go ahead and try to figure out who is the leader now after all this chaos? And I am not too sure as to who the leader is because the field is just all over the place. Apparently, according to scoring, rookie Tanner Sullivan is the leader. In the Gogurt car. That's what the scoring is apparently showing. But now he's about to get passed by Chris Michaels, who was the leader before the pit stop started. And now Chris Michaels, I think, is now to the lead. And indeed, that is the case. Chris Michaels trying to go for his third career win in the last 20 races because remember he raced in about after the first half of the regular season last season when he replaced the band Brendan Berg as a result and he ended up winning twice he won at Pocono and Thornton now he's up here in the lead and he has Michael Norman his teammate from Richard Childress right behind him but now he's coming down low for the lead for himself and Norman's been on a massive winless streak he has not won a race in about I think two maybe three seasons now he's to the point Jessica Sheldon causing a little bit of issues for uh, both Chris Michaels and Tanner Sullivan to try to get back up to the three next time by four laps to go And it is four to go now. Michael Norman up at the front, but now he's got Charles Jackson in front of him, along with Pichu London. It looks like this race is probably going to come down to Michaels and Norman, maybe Sullivan, as now Michaels is coming back down low for the lead again. Jessica Sheldon, though, thinking about trying to get underneath of him, and as a result, that's going to help Michael Norman stay as the leader with three laps to go. Then it's a long ways back to third place, which is right now <coughs> Alex Hawkins battling with his Phoenix teammate, Matt McIntyre. Back up at the front, it is still Michael Norman with Chris Michaels in the Richard Childress 1-2 battle right now. Michael still has some time to maybe try to go for some as it's two laps to go. And Petrie London has been causing a little bit of friction with Michael Norman because Norman's just not able to get around the 16 of London. And Jessica Sheldon has been trying to do whatever she can to make problems for 
Chris Michaels to try to go for the lead. As the white flag is going to be displayed. White flag is out for Michael Norman. And Chris Michaels, I don't think he's going to be able to get back to Norman because he keeps getting battled with Jessica Shelton, who's a slap down machine. As long as Norman doesn't wreck out, he'll sh he should be good to go. And I think he's going to make it. Coming out of turn four, Michael Norman breaks a long winless streak. Michael Norman wins the NRA 500 at Texas. After a chaotic race result of an invisible caution that made the field completely screwed up, Michael Norman wins here at Texas. What a job for that number three GM Goodrich Oreo car. But let's take a look at the rest of the results after everything that happened as Michael Norman wins at Texas and finally ends a long winless streak that has gone on for a long time. Uh, Chris Michaels comes away with a great run in second. If it wasn't for Jessica Shelton messing up with him as far as trying to get back on the lead lap, M the Michaels could have had something for his teammate, but he's going to come away with a great second place finish. Uh, Tanner Sullivan with a great run in third, the highest of the rookies. He led for a little bit. Alex Hawkins finishing in fourth. Great run for him. And Matt McIntyre gets his highest finish of the season in fifth. Kyle Corbett, solid performance in the sixth position. Danny Wells with a great run in seventh. Preston Plourd, our defending champion, in eighth. P.J. Williams with a solid ninth. And his first top ten of his career end of the season, rookie Benjamin Miles finishing tenth. Rest of the top 20, Kyle Matthews, Jessica Villanueva, Trent Dunham, Angel Navarro, Dougie Shears, Anthony McCrory, Austin LaPlante, Joshua Collar, Dorian Facepuncher, David Rivera. Rest of the lead lap cars, Jeffrey Rose, Cody Lamas, Rue McIntyre, Zachary Fitzwater, Jesse Setti, Joshua Balkan, Chris Washer, and Pichu London. Everybody from 29th back to 38th finished the lap down. Jessica Sheldon, Dylan Young, Chase Oliver, Charles Jackson, Charles Sanford, Bob Jones, James Silverfox, Dylan Thoreau, Seth Cole, and Sean Galligan. The other four cars finished out of the race as a result of a wreck that happened during the caution. Ian Dutta, James McLeod, Stephen Pollard III, and Dylan Poteet. But thank you guys for watching the NRA 500 here at Texas Motor Speedway. Next up, we head to one of the biggest beasts of the schedule, Talladega, and that's going to be a crazy race right there. But until then, here are your results, rookie points and regular points heading into Talladega for the Aaron's 499. And this is Levi McIntyre, signing off. <laughs>